Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to yet another episode here on the Shamblecraft server. And you join me today in a hut. Not just any hut. Well, okay, actually, it's just any hut. But hello. So you join me in a hut outside my base. And the reason you join me here is because since last time... I have been tinkering a bit on the outside here. You see, you might remember that last time we started working over there. I'm actually going to go back there in a bit. Uh, but we started working over there, making apartments and trying to make this a place where players could claim uh, an apartment and uh, be part of what was sort of intended to be some sort of like... I don't know, commune or something? I don't know. But anyway... A cat. But anyway, I've also been working on the outside here, and uh, I was actually going to cut to a very exciting time lapse of me doing work, but per the usual, Replay Mod has crapped itself. Uh, for some reason, Replay Mod just does not want to work properly on my laptop, so... But anyway, what I have done, I can show you. In here, I have, for those of you who remember how this place used to look, split this building up into sections. So if I can get my way out that door again. Once you enter the door now, you get to this little hallway section, and we're going to have a little front desk probably over here. And we now have uh, a bunch of rooms. So here we have room 101, which is a, a, a nice little room, two windows, uh, decent view. Room 102 uh, only has a view one way. We're probably going to make windows there for that. Room 103, same, has windows that way. Might add one going that way so you have more of a view. There's someone over there. I think that's strange. Um, as in, I don't think it's strange that there are people there. I think that is strange who is building. And up here we have rooms 201 and 202. 201 being, of course, a lovely little room with probably the best view of the entire commune uh, and over here we have the the suite which is 202 by far the biggest room I've actually started making a little area here where there's going to be a fireplace and uh, yeah this is sort of going to be the the bridal suite if you want to call it that so why are you doing this then Fally why are you making a bunch of rooms well uh, after posting about the um, after posting about the apartments in the Discord, a lot of people were interested, and uh, I have to say the interest and the activity has been quite impressive. Uh, and in fact, uh, I don't think there's really much space left. Let's head in here and have a look. Oh, why is my game lagging? Uh, so yeah, going in here into the apartments we will see that we actually... You know what, let me check. Why is my game running so sluggish? I need to look into that. So, you will see here that we have Angry Shep, who has claimed this apartment. I haven't really started doing anything yet. Uh, a bunch of people have started doing work. Uh, some people have actually done a lot of work. Um, we have here one apartment that is still free. That's 1A. Here we have apartment 1B, which has been claimed by Rose, and Rose has immediately turned it into an aquarium, which honestly I love. Uh, so getting out of the water, over here we have apartment 1C, which has been claimed by Meknus. And over here we have apartments 1D and E, which have been claimed by Newt. Um, just for the record, Newt did ask me if he could claim two, and I said it's fine. And this is where he's made a sort of a corporate area with uh, you know, a nice little table. We got a fridge, we got a cooker, we got a bedroom in here, and uh, a dining table. Overall, a pretty pretty cool little build here, and that of course goes all the way to the end. So if we head to the second floor. Uh, here we have apartment 2D, which has been claimed by Myson, who has somehow managed to park a van in it. Um, we have apartment 2C, which has been claimed by Buildmonger. Buildmonger also hasn't really done anything here yet. 
Uh, of course, there's no time limit on those. People can take as much time as they want. We have Kiwi Kenobi's Apartment of apartment ne of Apartmentness, which is honestly a, a pub uh, rather than a, an apartment, but I welcome uh, a pub. And then we have Apartment 2A, which is Croc's Apartment, which is some sort of, of war zone. Interesting. Uh, and then finally, of course, we have the, the apartment that I uh, still use, the penthouse. We haven't really done anything to that. And actually, it's probably easiest to just go this way from the outside here. And that is apartment, uh, I think it was numbered 99 to begin with. And this place is still generally unsafe, which has been claimed by Donut King, who has turned it into a massive bedroom full of chickens. So I don't know what sort of dungeon he's building here, but I, I'm i just going to pretend I haven't seen anything. Oh, 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 things that want to kill me. Let's move. But in addition to all of this, there's also been some developments down here. So uh, people might remember we built this, um, this barn a while ago, and there was a bunch of stuff that needed doing. Uh, I have now done some of it. I have finished off this wall and cleaned up all these chests, and I've now made basically a storage array right here which is going to be used to store the crops and that sort of brings me to what is basically part one after this seven minute tour that brings me to what is going to basically be part one of this episode because what i want to do in this episode is actually finish this sort of village area so for those of you who remember uh this is basically a village market where i want people to be able to um, to sell their goods. I was considering maybe adding some villagers here if I can manage to seal them in somehow and I should be able to by just putting some some trapdoors here. We could potentially seal villagers in here because I don't think they can open trapdoors. Uh, so you could have villagers here that sell various things. Um, but yeah, the other idea is that people can basically harvest crops and do whatever they want with them. Uh, and I also wanted to add some stables for horses. So what I've been doing, uh, and I decided I wanted to sort of record before I did that, I have gathered up a bit of material, some podsole, some spruce fences, uh, what, uh, all the hay bales I had laying around, and some lanterns. And the plan is to try and turn this into a horse stable with a little walking area in the middle and then keeping this back area clean to put uh, crops in. So I'm going to get some item frames and mark off all these chests uh, and you can sort of start filling them up with carrots and wheat and everything. And of course I won't be needing any of this thanks to the Mahosive farm that we built over at the Guardian Temple. Uh, and speaking of the Guardian Temple, we will be heading back there later. Oh, that's why it's sluggish because it's loading the entire universe. So Speaking of the Guardian Temple, we have basically one big thing left to do with the Guardian Temple, and that is, well, we've got all of these chaps that we sort of need to do something with, and the plan is, I'm going to see if I can get at least a couple of these villagers moved over to the Guardian Temple so I can start breeding them and hopefully get a village trading setup in the Guardian Temple basement, but that is for later. First of all, what I want to do now, let's see if we can finish off this village, and hopefully the next time you see me, this village is pretty much close to done, and we can start opening it up to more visitors, and people can start claiming a hut or a hotel room.
Well, okay then, views, you join me here atop this stack of chests, and the reason you join me here is that progress has been made. Starting with this, uh, this cute little stable. So as you can see, we have put in some hay bales, we have put in some more lighting, and most importantly, we have put in all of these uh, slots here where we can keep some horses. So these uh, should come in handy. All we really need to do now is wrangle some horses, and I haven't gotten around to doing that just yet. But, <coughs> apologies, if I take to the skies, you will also see that we have done some more lighting. I have now put out about two, maybe three stacks of glowstone, and as far as I know, covered most of it with carpet. And in addition to that, I've been using some, some moss blocks and some bone meal to make this place look a little bit cosier. So yeah, overall we are getting there, but uh, that is just the decorations. Let's also take a look at some of the more practical stuff we've done. So first of all, we have now labelled all of these cabins. They are now labelled cabins 1 through 8, and they can now be claimed alongside the apartments. Uh, and if we keep going down here, you will see that this has now become the Faladay Inn. And if we go in now, you will see that it has changed a good bit. First of all, spawn proofing and mood lighting has made this a bit, uh, a bit more of a cosy place, with each room now having double beds a chest and an ender chest where you can store your supplies and if we head upstairs you will see that we have um, this room here which is pretty much the same thing and then we also have the suite where we have added a fireplace a sitting area some paintings and a double bed so same as the apartments these rooms are basically first come first serve so make sure you come over here I'm actually going to take a screenshot of the rooms here and we're going to take a screenshot of this room there we go and we can post these in the discord and people can come claim them. so there are five rooms that can be claimed and these come basically pre-decorated uh, rather than like the cabins and the apartments where you sort of have to, to do a little bit yourself. And as you can see here, there are some glowstones here and there that I haven't gotten around to cover. But that is pretty much this part done, really. There's only one building I haven't finished, and that is this sort of temple building right here. And honestly, I don't think I'm going to finish it. I'm just... I have just have no idea what I want to do with this place. So I'm basically going to put forth a challenge <laughs> to whoever claims apartments, cabins, hotel rooms here. This temple needs finishing and you are welcome to finish it in the style that you see fit to do. So that is basically go nuts if you want to. Ah, we got the iron golem taking care of the the phantoms that's nice oh we got a creeper oh yes as you probably saw there learning a new skill and and heart monitors basically we have added a uh, a new feature to shamblecraft i forgot to mention that earlier we have added a new feature to shamblecraft and that is we are now testing mcmmo and we are considering implementing that for the second season of Shamblecraft. So, uh, yeah, if you play on the Shamblecraft server and uh, you want to give us some input, uh, come online and test it out. And see, I'm worried. Is there... Are there mobs inside here? Because they, sh they shouldn't be able to spawn in here. No, you see nothing there. Nothing there. They shouldn't be able to spawn in here. I checked the light levels. So it should be... It should be spawn-proofed. 
Oh, you know what? I think I know where that is. I'm gonna look. Take a look off. I'm gonna take a look uh, off camera because I have an idea. Uh, so yeah, that is basically all of this taken care of. So now all that remains is for people to claim apartments, claim cabins, basically claim hotel rooms. There are um, two apartments left, I think, and there are five hotel rooms and eight cabins. And don't worry about displacing the villagers. Um, I mean, you might find villagers sleeping in your bed, but that's fine. Um, I am going to be bringing some of these villagers with me. And that brings us to part two of this adventure. And that is, we need to move the villagers. And that is honestly not a job I'm looking forward to. Because what we need to do, if I bring up the map here... This is where we are, and you can see the cabins here for scale. If I zoom all the way out, we have to go all the way up there. So that is, so that's about minus 800, minus 800, and that is minus 2, plus 4. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a distance of about 1,600 odd blocks. And, yeah... I'm thinking what we probably need to do, we need to get a couple of these villagers in boats. Then we need to get those boats off of here. And then we basically just need to go by sea because I think anything else is just going to end up taking ages. And of course we're going to leave a couple of villagers here. And for those wondering, if you want to you know, just grab a few villagers from here to make your own villager breeder, go nuts. Just make sure that you leave at least like four or five villagers here for later just in case but i'm thinking maybe these two can be a good start hello if we can bring the two of you and maybe a third villager along then we can make a villager breeder so that is what we're going to be doing next uh, we're going to be making some boats we're going to get the villagers in them and hopefully we're going to be able to get them over to the guardian base safe and sound well viewers as you can see we have managed to uh wrangle a couple of villagers here into a couple of boats if i step out of it you will see that we have if i have counted correctly we should now have five villagers one two three four five yeah so what we're going to do now we are going to take these five villagers over here and we're going to take them down this side and we're going to start moving them towards the guardian base and this uh <sighs> I'm not going to lie, this is going to take a while. Just like that, viewers, we are here. Right, so that's all the five villagers moved. I've gotten two fish for my for the job, along with some, uh, what do you call it? Uh, spare boats is, of course, the name of it. And now comes the next and somewhat problematic bit. How are we going to get you lot in there? Hmm. Okay, you sit there and wait. Because we already have an enchanting area here. We could easily make an area here for villagers. But anyway, I think actually that's going to work. So what we need to do then, we need to find a way to get the... The village is basically down if I just make a very brief hole here. We need to get them down here. And of course now I can't get back up. But yeah, I think that is what we need to do. So what we need to do then... We need to clear an area... Over here. 
and somehow get the villagers down from up there into here. And what I'm thinking, actually, what if we... What if we just drop them? What if we just cut a 3x3 three three hole and here and there, and we leave some water and we carefully make a, a, a sort of like a drop hole up there. We just drop them straight through everything and have them land underwater down there. I think that could work. It's a very fally thing to do. Just, I mean, I believe in, there are lots of things I don't believe in, but there is one thing I do believe in, and that is the power of gravity. That basically means we need to make a hole about here, pretty much there, and then go straight through down there. Yeah, that could work. I think that could work, actually. Alright, so what I'm going to do then, I'm going to get the supplies that I need for this, and I'm going to also start clearing out the area down there so we have a place to put the villages. And hopefully, the next time you see me, we should be a step closer to having a villager breeder. But if we're going to be clearing out that much water, we're going to be needing sponges, which is why this place comes in handy. I, I believe I showed you this, actually, in a previous episode. This is a sponge rental. Uh, honestly, don't remember who, who owns this. If I'm perfectly honest, it might be Mechness. But what I'm going to be doing is basically that for free to borrow, 32 sponges max for one week, please return. Well, I only need these for like an hour, so I'm going to be cheeky enough to take a whole stack. But what I am going to do, because I've been doing this so much, I'm going to be leaving some diamond blocks here for whoever's been doing this, because I've been taking advantage of this for a while. So, thank you to whoever owns that. I can check that out afterwards using my uh, admin mojo. But, yeah, that is basically... Uh, that that shop there has been a lifesaver. I've, I used to just borrow it from Mechness, but uh, having that shop really, really helps. Well, okay then, viewers, you rejoin me here in the, well, ground floor, sort of, of my uh, little base here. And uh, hopefully we are pretty much done with what we need to do down below. I mean, sans some details. So if I jump down here, you will see that we've installed a bunch of beds. We've cleaned up the room a bit. We've made some fancy decorations with sea lanterns. And hopefully we should now be able to breed villagers down here. So the plan is to maybe create some sort of uh, little, uh, what do you call it, a little farming thing down here so that we can, uh, they can sort of procreate at their own rate. And then we're going to have a little train track minecart system that goes up here and then does a little UE around that and then goes behind here into individual slots. So the plan right now is to see if we can have a bunch of minecarts here with various villages and then I'm going to see if I can put in workstations behind them to sort of keep them in in place and then I can put signs on this row of glasses saying what the different trades are. Um, so the next step is getting these five in. So 
let's see if we can pull this off. Okay, so the hull is going to be just about there. That is going to be the central one. So if we put fence gates around like that, and then one sponge in the middle. Now that should make it safe to break these three glass panes. So if we now do, I have to get these afterwards. If now we now break these three, that should work now. All right, let's try this with a villager. Hello. Okay, so make sure we don't do this too quickly because then we'll fall down at an angle. But basically just carefully shimmy off the edge here. You know what? We should we should record this. So carefully off the edge. We Oh. 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 Well, sh